Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Matt DiLoretto. Coming up on 547 here, and Matt, I don't know what it is, but I, it feels like we all have allergies today. I know. I literally am sniffling. I woke up with, I feel like a cold. What's going on? I don't know. There's not even pollen out there. It's just, who knows? Maybe we're just sick of work. <laughs> <laughs> but at least, at least we have some nice weather to look oh, forward to. Beautiful weather this uh, weekend. A little bit of a cool start. And we've actually been below average for most of this month. And you can, I put a little calendar together. You can see those blue days that I have marked there are all days that have been below average. So nine of the last 14 days have been below average and uh, so we're looking at an overall temperature departure so far of almost two degrees which doesn't seem like much but we've certainly felt it over the last couple of weeks with these cool mornings and another cool morning right now Plymouth New Hampshire 51 degrees calm winds so feeling more like a uh, spring rather than July right now mostly in the 50s across the region 53 in Stowe 47 in Island Pond and Danville 51 in Lake Placid 62 in Burlington, 48 in Saranac Lake as well. So many 40s on the map, but we're all going to warm up very quickly today, especially once the sunshine comes in. We've got a pretty thick band of clouds across the region right now. They're mostly high clouds, but you look off to the west, you see pretty much a clearing line right across the international border. So sunny conditions behind it, and you can see rain off to the south and west. That's going to stay there, kind of shunted away by this beautiful high pressure system we've got moving in. So lots of sun warming up pretty much throughout the entire weekend and turning more humid as well, especially by Monday and then heavy rain and even some thunderstorms likely by later Monday afternoon and into Monday night. So let's play it out on Futurecast. We got the clouds out there now giving way to more sunshine this afternoon, especially over northern areas. I think clouds hang a little bit more tough to the south and we could see a brief pop up shower, especially off to the south, but I think most of us remain dry with lots of sunshine and that sunshine lasts with us all the way through Sunday. It's another beautiful day on Sunday, beautiful summer like day temps back into the upper 80s. Now by Monday morning, we'll start to see clouds increase, especially the farther south and west you are northern areas. We might start off with a ton of sunshine, but then you see quite a slug of rain coming up from the south and west by Monday evening, looking at heavy downpours, maybe even some thunderstorms by later Monday night. So we'll be watching it closely for you. It doesn't look like any severe weather at this time, but we will be watching for an isolated damaging wind gust. We do need the rain though. It's been dry, especially farther to the east. Our friends in New Hampshire and eastern Vermont uh, feeling the effects of the drought the most with a three to five inch precipitation deficit for the year. But uh, we are going to get some rain in here, so that's some good news. The humidity also goes up as well, especially by tomorrow and into Monday. I think tomorrow is actually uh, fairly comfortable out there with dew points in the 50s and 60s. But then by Monday, watch what happens. We get this surge of humidity right from the south. Dew points up into the 70s in some cases, more likely upper 60s. But that's certainly still more humid than most of us are accustomed to. But certainly no humidity today. Really comfortable out there. Lots of sun, especially in the afternoon. Upper 70s to lower 80s for the Adirondacks. Mid 80s by the lake. Same in northern Vermont. 86 in Burlington. 85 in Virgins. A bit cooler up in the mountains. 76 in Jay. And we're looking at also lower to mid 80s in portions of the upper valley. So a great summer day ahead. Nice, comfortable night ahead too. temps back into the 50s, maybe lower 60s in the Champlain Valley, but another chilly night out in Saranac Lake with a low of 51 sunshine for your Sunday, warming up into the upper 80s. And then Monday, that humidity comes back with a chance for thunderstorms. Couple more chances Tuesday and maybe Wednesday, but I think our better chance comes Thursday again with a cold front. But you can see staying mild in the upper 80s with that humidity, Lauren.